A farmer plants apple trees in a square pattern. In order to protect the apple trees against the wind, she plants conifer trees all around the orchard. Below you see a diagram of this situation where you can see the pattern of apple trees and conifer trees for any number n of rows of apple trees. Each pink square represents a conifer tree and each blue square represents an apple tree. The farmer wants to plant 169 apple trees. How many conifer trees would she need to plant? So here is the blown up version of the picture. I have a bunch of blue squares and a bunch of pink squares. So um, the blue squares represent the apple trees and the pink squares represent the conifer trees. n is equal to 4 simply means you have 4 rows of apple trees and each row has 4 apple trees. n is equal to 3 means you have 3 rows of apple trees and each row has 3 apple trees. n is equal to 2 means you have 2 rows of apple trees and each row has two trees. n is equal to one, one row and one apple tree per row. Now according to our question it says the farmer wants to plant 169 apple trees. So how many rows of apple trees would she have? Now by looking at the pattern of the blue squares here, each square represents a blue, each blue square represents an apple tree, I can conclude that the answer should be 13 because square root of 169 is 13 so if you have 13 rows of apple trees and if each row has 13 trees you will have 169 apple trees so from the question we can gather that the farmer will need 13 rows of apple trees now we are not interested in the number of apple trees we are going to use the total number of apple trees and the number of rows of apple trees to find out how many conifer trees she needs now according to the question she needs 13 rows of apple trees but let's look at this pattern let's highlight some of the things here I have a slew of pink tiles here, pink squares these pink squares highlighting them yellow, uh, uh, green, I'm not really highlighting them, I'm drawing a line through them and let's do another one here this one's going to be red. 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 And red. Let's try a blue here. Blue. 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 And one more blue. Then we're going to try orange right here. Okay, so what are we trying to do here? What we see is this. Is this. We have around the apple trees, we have four clusters of conifer trees. One here, one here, one here, one here. And it's consistent. So, if you have four rows and each row has four apple trees, four here, and then our main question is 13, not four. If you have four apple trees, you're going to need eight conifer trees here, eight here, eight here, eight here. If you have three apple trees, you're going to need six conifer trees here, six here, six here, six here. If you have two, you're going to need four, 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 four. If you have one, you're going to need two, 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 two. So basically the number of rows of apple trees or the number of apple trees per row will help you determine how many conifer trees you would need. So whatever it is here, you're going to double it. That will give you the number along here, the number of conifer trees you need. And you will multiply that by four because you're going to put conifer trees on all four sides. So that tells me, let's erase everything and look at our final answer. So we are concluding that if you have, uh, now if you, if you want to visualize a uh, 13 by 13 array of blue squares, blue squares represent apple trees. So what do we have here? Imagine a 13 by 13 array of blue squares. How many pink squares would be around? Well, on each side you're going to have 
26 pink squares here, 26 pink squares here, 26 pink squares here, 26 pink squares here, and 26 pink squares here. So, if you have 13, let's try blue, if you have 13 uh, a a a apple trees here, 13 apple trees here, 13 apple trees here, Thirteen apple trees here. You're going to have twenty-six um, conifer trees here, twenty-six here, twenty-six here, twenty-six here, and that's where four times twenty-six is coming from. And if you have thirteen apple trees on each row, you'll multiply two by thirteen to give you this is what this is right here, and you multiply it by four because there are four of them, and the final answer will be hundred and four.